Hi friends! I'm moving. That feels so weird to say. So if you guys have been following my channel for a little bit, you'll know that I'm moving in a week, less than a week. It's coming up so fast. And obviously, I mean, I feel like everyone who plays The Sims and likes to build in The Sims at least once in their life has tried to build their house or a house they're moving into or something. So I'm gonna be building the house that I'm moving into today, except there's one little thing. I haven't actually seen it. Here's the lot that we're gonna build the house on today. I'm going to try and build this as accurately as possible with the pictures that I've seen. When my boyfriend went to go and see the house, he tried to take some pictures and I know like generally what the layout looks like, the floor plan and everything. I'm not going to be showing any pictures because just privacy reasons, I don't want to do that. But I'm going to be trying to build this as accurately as I possibly can. And I think it's going to be kind of fun to like look back on this and see how accurate it was. But anyway, I'm going to start off doing a floor plan so that I can see what this is going to look like because this is how I'm gonna visualize it in my brain. So you walk in, there's a main living room. I need a front door so we can kind of navigate from there. And the front door is pretty basic. It's just like a door kind of like that, I guess, without the windows, but it does have the white trim. And then immediately when you walk in, there's a fireplace that kind of looks like that. And there's a little bit of space there. There's a massive window right here, which I'm so excited about, tons of light. But it's one of those like triangle windows that we can't really do in The Sims 4. When I do the roofing, it's gonna make sense. Sense. But for now, maybe I'll just kind of compensate by doing something like this. It's a huge window. Maybe I'll like double it up like with these together with this underneath because it's kind of just like full all the way to the bottom of the wall. I'm going to need to get curtains galore, <laughs> which I don't currently have. So that's going to be fun. By the way, this house might end up being a little bit empty because we're moving from my apartment. We're upgrading into a bigger place and obviously like we're not going to have the stuff to fill it out. So the flooring everywhere is gray, same as the wall wallpaper, which I don't know if we're allowed to paint it. We're renting this house. Everything in there right now is gray, gray trim, gray everything. So, okay, we've got the living room, the main area when you walk in, and then there's a hallway and the hallway goes like this all the way to the back. It's a one story home. There's also like a front closet right here. And then there's another like side door over here. I think the fact that I haven't seen this house is honestly so funny to me. I'm not stressing about it at all because my boyfriend saw it. My sister, want to go see it too. So I know that it's going to be okay. It's just kind of funny how it turned out because we were planning on getting another place. There was this other house that we were going for and I was actually in New York City with my mom when they did the showings. And we have been so desperate to get out of this place. If you guys have been following me for a while, you know all I want is to get out of my apartment basically so I have a yard for my dogs to run around. So when my boyfriend was going to see it, I was like, honestly, I trust you guys. If you like it, then you like it and I'm gonna like it and I don't care. I'm vlogging the whole thing though, so I can't wait for like the moment that I go in and see everything on moving day. But okay, for the layout, the hallway goes down this way. The kitchen is kind of weird because it's in like a separate room. It's a very closed concept old house. There's a bedroom in the back here and the bedroom has a bathroom. So I think I'm gonna have to extend this even more. So bedroom at the end, there's laundry at the end of this hallway here with the bathroom. And then on this side, there's two other bedrooms, which this is going to be great. Me and my boyfriend both work from home currently and we only have this one office, which is mine. My boyfriend is currently working like in the living room. So this is going to be great. Okay. So it's like closet here, like a front, like coat closet, literally all the same paint everywhere, even downstairs in the basement. <laughs> Wood pretty much everywhere other than the bathrooms and the bathrooms have like a black tile, kind of like this one with like a little bit in between. You can kind of like see where the tiles go. So there we go. We need a big archway going into the kitchen here and then for the rest of it it's pretty much just like basic white doors. So I'll do two like opening doors here for the closet. This bedroom is actually probably a little bit smaller. Like one of the offices is way smaller than the other and we're currently trying to figure out who's gonna get that one because okay here's how I see it. So I have this office because I was working from home first and my boyfriend has been working in the living room so I feel like he like should have this bigger office because because he's let me have the bigger one here. I just, I don't know. We're trying to figure out a way that we can fairly like figure it out, like a game or something. But all right, I think this is accurate. And then there's a garage over to the right, like just kind of like right here, I guess. It's not attached. There's like a little hallway that you can go out to like get to it outside. There's like a wall separating from that, literally just like a brick wall. And then this is gonna be my little entry area here. Now that we've got that figured out, I'm gonna try and furnish this. Honestly, this is gonna help me out because like, like, I don't know where 
everything is gonna go. So we're gonna have the fireplace here. We want to mount the TV on top of that. So we'll have like TV here. We can just our little TV. The couch we have is gray, which is perfect because all of our walls here were gray with our flooring and everything. Everything is gray now, which honestly, I would rather paint my walls literally any other color. We have two massive bookshelves with like a lot of colorful books on there. So I'm gonna bring that in there like that. And then we have one more skinnier one too. Both of them are white. They're just like Ikea bookshelves. And I have been bad because when I moved into this place, my style was so neutral and like really just kind of plain. And now after I've been building in The Sims, my style is so much more colorful and vibrant and bold. So I bought a yellow chair. We're gonna just put that there. I also got a new coffee table that kind of looks like that, but not in that color. It's more so in like that color because the house actually has these like beams going across the ceiling. I don't really know how I'm gonna build that though. They're literally beams that go like all the way this way across the entire living room. Literally like this. Hey, that kind of works, but that's gonna look weird when I'm furnishing. But like from the ceiling, that's how it looks. Fun. Okay, I'll just furnish it down here. Okay, so we're gonna have like a rug here. I have a few plants that I've been keeping alive. I have two birds of paradise that are like my pride and joy, honestly. So I don't know where those are gonna go. Probably on like the window ledge or something. But for now, I'll just put them, like I'll put one there and one maybe on top of this. And then there's another plant that's gonna go in this corner. And honestly, that's all we got for the living room right now. I think all our other furniture is going elsewhere. So it's gonna be like that for now. Okay, over to this side where we walk in, we have an end table and I have a big picture of like mountains. It's like a black and white kind of picture. <laughs> This is gonna look so funny to like you guys. Okay, so big picture like that, it's massive. And then I actually just bought a dining table. We did not have any room for a dining table here. It was way too small. So the dining table I bought is kind of like that. And the chairs, I bought these like pink chairs that have that color scheme there. So I have like the dark brown matching with the beams and the coffee table. I'll probably just put like a plant on there or something. Get like a walking rug right there. And this is looking pretty good. I think there's like a a thermostat probably around here. <laughs> okay, this is kind of what I'm picturing for it for now. There's, like I said, gonna be so much empty space, but it's fine. Let's go into the kitchen, which is gonna be right over here. And like I said, this house is kind of funny because it's an older house. It has like an older floor plan. So that's why this kitchen is just in a separate room. I love to cook. So when I heard about the kitchen, I was like, wait, it's where? <laughs> but it literally has its own like room. So I'm just gonna wrap this around. The counter is kind of just go this way and then there's a sink. This might even be bigger than it should be here. The kitchen is pretty small. It's gonna be my sanctuary. Like I already don't let anyone in my kitchen. So like everyone get out. There's no room for the both of us. Okay, so there's like a sink there, fridge is over there. And honestly, I'll probably have room for like a garbage and that's it. So I'm trying to like shrink this and make it look a little more accurate with trash can here. And then there's cabinets up above and those are white. I guess they kind of look like this. You can tell that they were older cabinets too and someone just like painted over them which is cool so cabinets going around that way and then there's cabinets also on this side like over top of the fridge tons of storage space and then yeah the dining is going to be like right around the corner there i think i don't know where the smoke detector is but i mean probably on the ceiling honestly we got one of these guys like right there and i think that might be it for the kitchen see i was thinking maybe i would have room in this corner over here for like a dining table but i think it's going to be too squishy better off to just like put it out there oh Oh, and the kitchen has like a tile on the back. This is the only change in wallpaper we have. Other than the bathroom, I guess, maybe if we're lucky. It's sort of like that. Okay, so kitchen there, we're gonna do the bathroom over here. So bathroom is like toilet here. There are two sinks right here, which is nice. From the pictures, there like aren't any mirrors. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to get my own, but I think I'm gonna do black because everything else in there is black and white. There's like light bulbs over top of the mirrors. They don't really look like this. It's more of like the vanity kind of lighting, like just like the actual bulb bulbs, but this is gonna do for now. And then on this side, there's a cabinet, like a shelf thing here, and then a shower slash like bathtub combo, which I'm so excited about. I don't have a bathtub. I haven't had a bathtub in like three years. I think there's like a 
shelf in here somewhere that opens up and then this can be a separate shelf with like towels or something. So maybe for now, that is not what it looks like, but I'll just do that and put like shelving in there. I think we got a window in here. Like that makes sense, right? Probably one here and like one here. Our bath mat <laughs> looks exactly like this from Parenthood. And I think there's also a little cabinet above the toilet, like just a basic like that. And honestly, I think this is what the bathroom looks like. I'm gonna use this here from Dine Out. It's kind of just like an empty blank wall sign. And I'm gonna put that behind these because it looks like they're being held up by a metal bar. So actually that looks kind of good. A build hack there. We're gonna have black towels. So like that and like that. And I think that's pretty much it. Let's move on. I'm gonna put the laundry where it's supposed to go. So the laundry is like in there in, honestly, the hallway is skinnier than this, but it's they're in there. And maybe just for build purposes, I'll make my office the bigger one. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna need is my setup, which obviously I'm not gonna get like to a T. None of this is really gonna be to a T, but Get Famous has the setup here. So I'm gonna get that. There's my like computer and everything. I have black curtains in here to make sure nothing messes with my like camera lighting and everything. So black curtains. Then I have my background, which I think I'm gonna probably make a new one, but just for these purposes, I will add this. I'm like looking back there to see what I've got. So one, two, three, four. I feel like everyone in has one of these in their background on YouTube. And then on there, I have so many knickknacks. I have my lava lamp, my pink one. I have like tons of candles and stuff, video game consoles. I've got like all my old Nintendo stuff back there and like my controllers. Ooh, cameras. My little Charmander in the back. Oh my God. <laughs> There he is. <laughs> oh, and I just got like that horse thing. I got that from like a thrift place, like a flea market. Let's put that. <laughs> okay, and then I have this like crappy plant that I got from Ikea that I can't stand. If you've seen any of my vlogs setting that up, you know. I'm gonna download this, I think. That's probably pretty accurate. I have like a crazy rug in here. It kind of looks like that, but smaller and without the llamas on there, but I wish. And I also have tons of soundboards in here. Like you guys can't see it, but my room is soundproofed because God forbid anyone ever heard me filming. Let's use these, not the same, but I'm just gonna put those there. I have more on like the side here too. My chair is literally falling apart and my boyfriend was laughing at me yesterday because I bought like a dining table and stuff that I probably should have waited on before buying a proper chair because mine is literally falling apart. L like I don't have a second armrest. <laughs> okay, and then there's like a little file cabinet like that. I have another one over here with like a printer on it. Oh, my guitar. I have a guitar behind me. What else? Oh, an ottoman. There's like an ottoman right here. Okay. I have a neon wall sign like right over here, which you guys never get to see. I also have a big Zelda picture in my office. Oh, and there's a shelf. Oh my God, there's so much stuff in here you kind of forget about. There's a shelf like right here with plants on it and like another ukulele. I'm gonna just like shrink a guitar and raise it up. There's a cute picture that I painted up there as well. Oh, and I have a bunch of light panels in front of me. This is probably such a weird video to watch, but I have these. They're right in front of me. I don't know where I'm going to put them, but it's kind of like that. Look, Aria, this is our new house. Aww. Okay, I think this is it. There's also like a closet in this room too, but and a mirror. The mirror is going to be on the back of the door, but I'm going to just put it like right beside it like that. I think that's pretty much it. It's so weird to see it like that, but that's pretty much my office like as it is right now. The bathroom over here is pretty much the same as this one, just smaller. It's just like a bedroom going in a bathroom going in from the bedroom oh my god so literally just the same thing but a little bit smaller and again i'm gonna need to get curtains for all of this people always when i forget curtains in my regular sims 4 builds people are normally like freaking out about it but i don't have them so okay towel there there's also like the lights this is probably not the most accurate thing but there's lights on top of there too my boyfriend's office is gonna be interesting because i have no idea what he's gonna do with it he's gonna have this entire room to just like do whatever he wants which is pretty exciting. So he's got like his computer. He has like a table beside it with like a laptop on there. We had another couch in the living room, which he's gonna take in there. <laughs> Just like a black leather couch, like a hand-me-down one that we've had, which a lot of our stuff has been. So kind of, I guess, just like that. There's like some old end tables we have, which he can probably put in there. I'm like deciding for him. I'm sure there will be some fun pictures in there too of like video games or something, movies maybe, probably movies. Movies. 
some like lamps. I know he's gonna make it cool, but like I just don't really know. So I'm gonna maybe put one more thing on the wall and then move on. And like I said, this is gonna be so fun to look back and see how it's changed. We have like a tapestry. I mean, maybe he'll take that. We're both just big nerds. So I'm like, we literally probably have some Star Wars stuff in here. So let's just add that in there. Maybe not that big and call it a day. <laughs> That's gonna be his office for now. All right. And finally our bedroom, which the bedroom they say is what you're supposed to furnish as your like sanctuary. But it's the last thing I ever think about buying decor for, for some reason. But I just started doing it. So we've got our bed. Our bed is just like an Ikea bed like that. Two end tables on the side, the plainest end tables. <laughs> it's honestly really weird doing this because when I build in The Sims 4, like a regular Sims 4 build is not this realistic. You know what I mean? Okay, so I have a salt lamp. I'm gonna use that little mood lamp there, which I actually forgot about. I've never used, but that came with a new base game update recently. And then we have just like regular little lights like this. We have black curtains pretty much everywhere. So those are gonna come with us probably just to keep the light out for now. We need the doggy bed. Oh, I forgot about the dog balls, my own dogs. Oh my God. Okay, we have a massive dog bed. So the dog bed's gonna go like there or at the end of the bed, I guess, like whatever right there. We have a TV in our bedroom, just like an older one. So I'm gonna put that right there. And then our dressers, I need to get new dressers so bad. They're so old. Both of them are Ikea, just like old. I think. I got them probably like 10 years ago. So they both look like this. Like Discover University kind of has that like Ikea style. I just bought two new paintings, which I'm gonna see if I can find something similar from Holy Schmo Wow on the gallery, my favorite gallery page for art. They're sort of like that color scheme, I guess. Not quite the same, but it's similar. And I guess maybe I'll put them like right here. For pillows, I have these like pink and yellow pillows, which I guess I'll just put on the bed. And then on my dresser, there's always like clutter. There's like perfume, books, makeup. <laughs> like not clean in there normally, a little bit cluttered and messy. Oh, and I have some clocks. I forgot about the clocks. I'm sure I'm forgetting about other stuff too, but so we have like one clock here. There's another big clock in the living room. The doggy bowls. I don't know where the heck the dog bowls are gonna be. Maybe if I have room over here, but I don't really want them to be by the garbage. They could either go here or I can see them being like at the door or something like over here. And the dog food somewhere, maybe in like a closet, like this closet here. Okay, I mean, it's a little bit empty, but. I think this is like everything we have. And then for the exterior, there's obviously like a garage door right here. This part is sort of up on like a platform, but then the garage is flat. So it's kind of like that, which means I'm gonna have to raise everything up in here. <laughs> there's just like some stairs right here and then stone up top like that, I guess. Then there's the driveway that comes down this way and then little entryway like that. Like I said, it's an older house. So it's very like warm toned on the outside. So there's this like big, brick, I think. I'm <laughs> like, I think. And then siding on the garage, I want to say. And then the roof. The roof is my favorite part of this because it's kind of like a mid-century sort of thing. So it goes all the way across like this. That's not it. So all the way across, there's like an overhang here and an overhang in the back too, like a patio part. Like down here, there's a little space where I'm going to get a barbecue and put it. And then quick turn to the left. Like it's kind of like that. But there's a skylight up here. So I'm going to have to like a justice and add a little glass piece for the skylight right there. We've got like a mailbox right here. And then the funniest thing about this is there's literally a tree <laughs> like that, just like that. It's funny because in The Sims 4, when I build something that I don't like, I just like put a big tree in front of it and call it a day. And that's literally my house. I'm gonna move this forward. I need to build out the yard, which is my favorite part about all of this. The biggest thing I'm excited for is the moment where I open the door and my dogs can just run out and go to the bathroom on their own and have a yard to run around in as opposed to me walking them to go to the bathroom four times a freaking day in my apartment. I'm still not even done roofing this yet, but I was so excited about the yard. So I think I'm gonna finish up the landscaping and the roofing and everything. And then I will show you guys when I am done. So with all the final details and everything, this is kind of what it looks like, I think. So we got the front of the house looking like this. I added a couple extra details just for accuracy because there was like white trim on some places. So this is the front and then we 
did the skylight over here. I ended up roofing the back, which looks honestly kind of like that. I think I did a pretty good job considering I haven't seen it. In the back, I added a couple lawn chairs. I added my trash cans and it's kind of like overgrown a little bit. From the pictures that I've seen, there were like things that needed to be trimmed back and like that's it. So I added a whole bunch of these weeds going along. I'm gonna have my work cut out for me when I get there, I think. And I just added some stuff to the garage, like a workshop table or like a bicycle, just like storage stuff. And yeah, that has been my new house build in The Sims 4. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will link my vlog channel down below so you guys can catch up with the vlogs once I finally post them after we move. And if you guys like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps me out. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.